Hello everyone and welcome to Raina Mo's DIY and a Design. Today it's going to be a different video. I was requested by one of my subscribers to give a holiday look for New Year's and I know that there are a lot of people out there that will be entertaining. There are some people that will be doing some formal events, not necessarily for New Year's but in the upcoming year since 2017 is coming up. Besides weddings, you may have a nice elegant get get together that could be intimate with your closest friends or maybe you entertain and, invent and uh, invite your boss or your co-worker. So this is a way to have a very nice glam look uh, on a budget. So with that said, let's start this particular um, tutorial. And like I said, it's going to be a little bit different because it's going to be a cluster of tutorials that I'm going to try and pack into a small amount of videos instead of doing a solid video about one thing. Um, since she just asked me this and it's the 28th and she's needing it for the 31st, that doesn't give me a lot of time. So in a crunch, I'll be using things that I find around the house as well as Dollar Tree. Uh, and some of the projects that I've done before in the past and kind of just um, upscale it for you guys. Uh, so I hope you really enjoy this video. So the first thing we're going to do, if you remember, I created this three foot acrylic box and in that video I mentioned that I had saw and what gave me inspiration was another YouTuber called Sharon. She's so fabulous. She did a mirror box and she did her mirrored box with mirror tiles from the Dollar Tree. Um, and so since since she used these tiles from the Dollar Tree, I had mentioned that I'd gotten my acrylic sheets cut at Lowe's and I also mentioned that I bought mirrors there at Lowe's. So what I'm going to be doing is actually Putting, since I've put this box together already and you've seen me use it so there's a use for this as well as for the mirrored box that I'm going to create. So I had the acrylic sheets cut as well as mirrors cut and what you're going to basically watch me do is transform this acrylic box into a beautiful three foot mirrored box. So if you want to see just continue watching. So all I'm going to do is cut the tip of this Loctite. Let me show you what it is. I've got my, um, this is called a caulk gun, and I've never used one before. I usually get the tubes that you just cut and you use the tube, but unfortunately adhesive for a mirror didn't come into those easy squeeze tubes. It only comes into this type, which you have to use a caulk gun for. But this is... PL Proline 530 Mirror Marble and Granite for Kitchen and Baths uh, Adhesive made by Loctite. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the tip off at an angle. And what I'll be doing is squeezing the glue onto the sides of the mirrored box. And then I will go ahead and I will adhere the mirror pieces to it. Then I will secure it with tape so that it can dry. And then once it's dry, um, obviously you'll see what I'll use with it. But once I go ahead and I complete adding all of the glass and taping it, I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what the box looks like. Once I have caulked it, so that's the mirror. And then this is what the inside looks like, which once it dries, I'm not sure if it's going to dry clear, but it doesn't matter because no one's going to be seeing the inside of the box. But so far, so good. So this is step one in our elegant event look for the new year. Okay, everyone. It's been a couple of days. The... Adhesive has finally dried. I've taken the um, tape off of the mirrored box, and as you can see, it's a really nice size mirror box. But what you probably can't see, which I'll end up showing you here, 
the seams are not 100% perfect, so apparently when they cut the mirror for me, uh, their measurement was off and I didn't check it so that's my fault so what I'm gonna do um, is embellish it with some some rhinestone and I might use diamond wrap as well but um, I was gonna do that anyway because I created a small mirrored box years ago and I had embellished it and it looked so pretty with the rhinestone on it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this one as well and when I come back I'll show you what it looks like uh, also, I wanted to tell you, uh, forgive my appearance, once you see the final reveal of this centerpiece uh, and the backdrop that I was working on, you'll understand why I had to put all this hair up like that. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere those stickers now, and those uh, rhinestone stickers now, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so now you see how I have blinged out the box to help hide the seams and to beautify the box. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna use some of this filler paper that's in gold because our theme is going to be, um, or at least the colors are gonna be uh, mixed metals with a pop of a bright color and that color is gonna be red just so that it's something different. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill the box to the sides so you can see a little peaking of the gold coming out and then I bought these foam blocks from uh, King Dollar that I'm going to use to give height inside the uh, box and you know I'm going to have to add some kind of lighting element because that's that's just what I do and I purchased some pretty flowers from the Dollar Tree that the Dollar Tree's flowers for this upcoming spring they're absolutely gorgeous when I pulled up and I looked at those flowers they had a bunch of carnations and beautiful bicolored roses as well as the regular solid colored roses but the carnations you couldn't tell that they were silk so beautiful and even the carnations were bicolored but I didn't pick up any of those for this particular project I'm sticking with roses but um the Dollar Tree and King Dollar on this particular tutorial, you can't beat the things that I found and I picked up. When you guys see the backdrop, you're going to be amazed. I mean, just totally amazed. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this centerpiece. And then when we come back, I'll show you how it looks. The table is set with a beautiful backdrop. Are you ready? Absolutely beautiful. I must say I'm very, very impressed. Dollar Tree and King Dollar really did this DIY. It really did it proud. And the backdrop? I know you guys might be sick of seeing this wedding arch, but until we have the wedding, it's up in the house. <laughs> because it's too difficult taking it apart and putting it back together. But just look at that. It's a beautiful wall of flowers, courtesy of King Dollar and Dollar Tree. You wouldn't believe that I got these crystals at King Dollar. And these crystals are actually glass. These are acrylic. And I got these from Amazon. This is also a King Dollar find. Look at that sparkle. And that is not acrylic. That is glass. Absolutely gorgeous. The invisible twine was is actually bead, stretch bead um, cord, if you will, from King Dollar. Look at that. Beautiful pendants that are glass from King Dollar. Gorgeous. And the back side. Beautiful. And this just goes to show you that you could be a newlywed on a strict budget and you can put together something fabulous for pennies on the dollar. The chargers were my doorbuster from Michaels. This plate 
and the salad bowl came from King Dollar. Wine glass trimmed in gold, Dollar Tree. Tea light holders, Ikea. Beautiful cut glass goblet for water or wine, Dollar Tree. Gorgeous glittery Eiffel Tower cardboard cutout, King Dollar. Dollar Tree find. Paper from the Dollar Tree. Candle holder is from the Dollar Tree. Candles, got those at Trader Joe's. All of the uh, feather boas here, Dollar Tree. All of the flowers, Dollar Tree. Absolutely magnificent, breathtaking. And like I said, for pennies on the dollar. I hope everyone enjoyed this particular tutorial and the final reveal all in one. The next video I'll have will be uh, centered for New Year's as well. It'll be a continuation of this one and it will actually show you how to set up a nice buffet uh, serving area and how you can put your party favors uh, displayed so that they actually coincide with this particular setup. I forgot to mention this round black tablecloth is plastic and that came from King Dollar. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment at the bottom. This particular idea came from one of my subscribers. Well, actually two of them. One wanted a New Year's Eve look and the other one wanted a Great Gatsby in Paris look and I've delivered. I think I delivered a pretty good job. Um, so anyway, continue to think outside of the box. Continue to try and strive to bring your next event up a notch from the Dollar Tree or any dollar store, whether it's King Dollar, 99 cent store, whatever uh, store it is that you have in your area that you're blessed to have in your area that's reasonably priced. But anyway, have a wonderful evening. Bye. Just gorgeous. Please thumbs up this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Keep on watching for the final reveal. Bye.